Hey guys, Derek here with Popaville O-Gage Trains. We're going on another excursion. This time we're going to the Great Train Show. Not to be confused with the Great Midwest Train Show. Uh, this is in East Moline, Iowa. As you'll see, my surroundings are a little bit different, and I'll explain that in a bit. All right, everybody. So, as I said in the intro, we're going to the Great Midwest, or no, I correct that, the Great train show in East Moline, Iowa. It's at the Bend Expo Center. Um, I got about a half an hour drive to get there. As you see, my surroundings are a little bit different than usual because I just got off of work. Um, as I've mentioned before, I'm a truck driver. I'm actually in my truck right now. And rather than driving all the way home in my car, which is about 100 miles, um, and then hopping back in my car and driving all the way back out here, I'm gonna drive a half an hour right to the show. Uh, sorry if I'm a little scruffy. Like I said, I've been on on the road all week. So um, well, let's get ourselves going, all right? So we made it here. We're at the Bend Expo, XPO uh, Center in East Moline. We are, oh, probably about a thousand feet from the Mississippi River. It's just over that ridge behind my shoulder here. And it's the mighty Mississippi right over there. And as I said, here's the Expo Center. So uh, let's head on in. So I've arrived. It's very quiet in here, although it is early and it's Sunday morning. So uh, about half of it, by the looks of things, is layouts, which are down at that end. And then we have all our vendors here. So let's start walking around them. Let's we'll look at the vendors first, and then we'll take a walk over by the layouts. These are kind of cool. They're bath sets with a lot of your favorite railroads. Ooh, I like that one there. And lots of coffee mugs. Stuff for your walls. A lot of cool pins. You need a coaster? I think they have just about every possible railroad you could think of. Lots of cool puzzles. And more of those embroidered towel sets. That's best. <laughs> and I'm sure there's a t-shirt here that will cover any of the railroads that you were thinking of. And even hats down there. Here's a vendor that has plenty of HO. This guy came a long way. SEK Hobby Supply, Fort Scott, Kansas. Oh, that's okay. So this booth was run by a gentleman by the name of Jim Shepard. Came all the way from Dallas, Texas, and he his business is Texas Model Train Collecting Collections. And uh, he buys, sells, and trades. He's got some really nice stuff. There was a really cool story behind this big boy that I'm showing here. He says it's a one of a kind. So we're gonna show you a QR code that will take you direct to his site as soon as we get done looking at some of these buildings here. Mostly woodland scenics. I'll, I'll let you do it. Okay, can I please put this on my site? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I thought these 143rd scale die casts were really cool. Here's a really nice American Flyer set. And I fell in love with this old Mark's train station. And hey, look, I ran into a subscriber. set up a really nice place for the kids to play. They had some amazing end scale and lots of it. Here, the kids got to run trains on their own. This was one of the smaller end scale layouts that they had. You need a little exercise and you want to wear out your kids? Another great play area. And it's Thomas the Train. Take a ride. So when I first saw the uh, the flyer on this, they talked about this giant end scale layout that was 97 by 80 feet or something like that. I can't remember the exact measurements. And I thought maybe it was a misprint. It was supposed to be inches, but no, this thing is huge. So let's take a walk around it. So you got a nice big turnaround loop down at this end that uh, comes in as one, but has a bunch of switches. And I count one, two, three, four, five, six. Such a track right there. Let's head on down the line. Nice cornfield here. Another area that opens up to a large
I just want to add, I haven't doubled up on any of this video. I'm still walking around this huge end scale layout. crossing. This one just goes on and on and on. Look at the detail in those power lines. sunbathers out here on the roof of this old building. admit I'm not an end scale guy but this is incredible Incredible layout. How many scale miles is it? Do you know? Uh, one full circuit is about 30. Wow. So I don't know if you heard that when I asked him, but one full circuit is about 30 miles. Here's somebody who's actually. telephone poles and the trees. 
incredible. Cool weathered cars. And then another loop. It looks like someday they plan on continuing. Now, this I think is kind of cool. We're getting the fields ready. Another really cool end scale layout. I've got to drive in on my layout, but this one's super cool because this is end scale. That screen's about two and a half inches by two and a half inches, and it was actually playing a movie. So that about wraps it up. I apologize for the uh, a lot of the video on that Chicago Northwestern M scale, but I used to ride a train just like that when my, one, my wife and I were first dating. I lived out in the suburbs and she was in the city. Uh, memory lane, isn't it fun? All right, guys, so uh, time to head home. I picked up a couple cool things. When I get home, I'll show you what I got. All right, everybody, so I finally got home. Um, as usual, had a great time, um, met some wonderful people. Uh, there's a lady that has a display that I've been seeing her the last three train shows. Her name is Ru uh, Ruth, wonderful, wonderful uh, older lady. Um, I think she goes mainly for the fun and just to meet people. Uh, Denny's Trains out of Oswego, he was there. Uh, he's been at the last few, you know, he goes to a lot of the local stuff. Met a gentleman from Dallas, Texas, had a great display. Uh, uh, his card is one that I'll be uh, showing you, uh, or I probably already showed you. Um, and um, overall, it was an okay show. I mean, I was really expecting a lot more vendors. Um, there were not that many vendors, and a lot of the vendors had a lot of kids stuff. But speaking of kids, if you, this is a show definitely to take kids to. As you can see, they had a couple of play areas set up. They had the old uh, cranking and drive yourself along the track. They had a Thomas the Train set up that you, the kids could ride on. Um, I, I really wish it would have been an O-scale layout, operating on layout, but um, they had uh, one of the most amazing, the largest N-scale layout that I've ever seen. Um, when I first saw the flyer on it, I thought it was gonna be, I thought it was a misprint, but as you saw, the thing was huge, I mean, uh, I give a lot of credit to the guys that do end scale because there's such minute detail and everything. Um, something I couldn't do. Uh, one is the eyes aren't good enough for that anymore anyway. Um, but yeah, it was really nice. 
Um, they had, uh, I think it was three different end scale layouts of different sizes and then it was an HO scale layout. Uh, but yeah, going back to the vendors, um, I really wish that there were more. Uh, I got a couple of good deals on some stuff right here I'm gonna show you. Um, really didn't spend a lot of money. Um, spent more on gas, to be honest with you. Um, hopefully that uh, in the future they get more, more vendors going to that event. Um, the uh, turnout for at least by the time I left, they were starting to get busy um, and talking to some of the different vendors. They said there was uh, between 2,500 and 3,000 people yesterday. Um, I got there first thing in the morning right after they opened and it was almost a ghost town, but as I left, more and more people were starting to flow in. Um, it was Sunday and it was the day after St. Patty's Day, so who knows? You people a little on the tired side from being out Saturday night, maybe? Yeah. Um, also, people met, probably went to church in the morning and then came to the show afterwards. So, um, but let's take a look at what we got here. Um, first thing I'm going to show you, it's something real simple. A couple of things that came in the mail. I got to grab a pair of scissors because I'm pretty sure this is what I think it is because this came from a gentleman that I saw at one of the other shows. Yep, from Ron LeClaire. Doesn't look like a lot, but it is the smokestack that I've been needing for this guy right here. Um, three bucks, <laughs> can't beat that. Wow, I don't know if you guys can see this, but just came down out of nowhere. A big old spider, look at that, just came down from the ceiling. Yeah, we can't have him here, can we? All right, he's taken care of. No need to scream, anybody. Uh, <laughs> The, the, the funny stuff that happens while you're filming. Um, I don't know, maybe I should save that for a blooper reel. Okay, yeah, so uh, that'll, that'll complete this guy out, which would be nice. Um, next thing I gotta do is for one of my Com Commodores, Vanderbilts, I gotta, and I'm gonna get them through him also, some uh, I need a set of handrails. Um, so that's something that came in the mail. I got something else that came in the mail, and this is something I've been looking for, or to my daughter helped me out with this by putting it together. She ordered them and just I just had to send her a couple of bucks. Business cards. Hey, I'm official now. And they're pretty cool. I got my name on there. It's got my uh, my whoop, email, YouTube channel, uh, my Facebook. The only thing I didn't care for is the train of the Papa Bell logo could have been a little bit uh, lighter. And then this is the cool thing on it. It's a QR code. Yep, they're nice and close. That QR code, you scan that and it brings you right to the YouTube channel. Kind of neat, huh? Um, there was one for the Facebook channel. Unfortunately, it didn't work properly. Um, we're trying to get to the bottom of that, but in the meantime, heck, I'll just sort of draw a line through it because it's bringing you to this YouTube channel. That's the important part. So yeah, uh, got a 500 of them for $22. Can't beat that, can you? Okay. Enough with that over there, put that over there. Let's see a couple of oddballs. I didn't get a lot, like I say. Um, there was one vendor that had tons of cool, uh, you could get bath towels that pre pre were pre-embroidered with uh, some of your favorite um, train lines and stuff like that. They had um, uh, just all kinds of really cool stuff. I decided to grab a couple of drink coasters. When I grabbed them, I didn't realize they were a little bit different, but that's cool. They were a buck a piece, or I just grabbed the two of them, or you could have got six for six for five bucks, something like that. But yeah, they're, they're basically it's like a neoprene on one side. Something kind of cool. So the next item here, um, I bought this um, at the at the uh, booth that. Uh, it was funny, when I was purchasing this, a guy behind me says, uh, um, are you gonna video that? And I turned around and I said, uh, no, I really, usually don't video my transactions. I show people at the end of my videos. He says, yeah, I know. Well, he was somebody who, one of, one of my YouTube subs subscribers. He was the picture of, that I had with the, the guy where I did, we did a selfie together. And I, I'm kicking myself, I cannot remember his name. If you're watching this video, send me a comment with your name in it, because I can't, for the life of me, I can't remember. So now what I did get, and I don't know what attracted me to this, maybe it was the price, maybe it was just the uniqueness of it, but it's a cool little Marks um, 
like a little train station. It says Union Station up on the top. Um, you got your tracks coming through here. No crossing area. I mean, that's kind of neat. It's got the, there's even a little handle on the back to raise the crossing gate up and down. Uh, this will prob this will probably, now it, it, it stays stationary that way, with a, of a road coming across this way. And it is marked, it has the marks lit logo right there. Um, I thought it was really cool. And this end just has westbound, this end it has eastbound. There's the back side of it. I don't know. I was just really attracted to this. I'm not sure how I'll use it. It might just be, it might be just something that sits up on the shelves. But it's a cool little uh, train terminal. When you get, you got your ticket office. Um, yeah, I just I was really drawn to this. Um, price tag on it was ten dollars. We negotiated down to eight bucks. I like it. Once I get it, get it cleaned up, nice and pretty. Um, yeah, I definitely like this a lot. Um, here again, I need a little help from you guys. What can you tell me about it? I do have some different Marks books, but I don't think this is going to be covered in there. So some of you guys that are Marks toy enthusiasts, if you can tell me anything about this, I would really appreciate it. Uh, in particular, maybe the year it was made. And um, was this part of maybe a, a set of some type? Let me know. Okay. The next thing I got, I purchased this all from the same guy. And... Uh, I thought it was a, we, I basically said, hey, I'm looking for just something that's kind of junky. I want to clean it up. I want to maybe use this in the save the junk challenge. Um, so we started out with uh, a 400 loco. I don't know if it works yet or anything. The wheels do turn. He had another one that was really, really tight. Um, it was a, uh, a, a dual reduction. This one is a, a single, um, but it does. Does turn okay, and uh, it's in decent shape. You know, there's no no uh, chipped plastic that I can that I've noticed so far, um, and uh, it is a it is a lighted model, so that's kind of cool. Well, there we go. We got that. Um, he had a few different tenders, but this one was in the worst shape, and that's why I wanted it. Also, it had a little bit to do with the this back coupler on here um but look at that that's what you call rough i do like this <laughs> i'm a glutton for punishment sometimes but uh yeah I, I, I like it a lot it's it's got good bones to it the wheels turn the, the, there's no real rust on the wheels which is cool um this is a great candidate for right restoration in my eyes um i'm not gonna go overboard on it i don't think we'll see <laughs> The next two pieces I thought were really unique. A couple of passenger cars. New York Central. It's a number 234 and the um, and a 235 Meteor. Is it a 235? I thought I saw a 235 number on there. Maybe I didn't. But it's a Meteor. So these are New York Central passenger cars. Very dirty. Um, very dirty and dusty. But they, what I liked was that they have the window pieces in them and they're all in pretty good shape um, they do not have the uh the lighting set up or the pickups for it we'll see if we can track those down somewhere um, or i might just leave it as it is but there's no on the actual body you got a little bit of roughness down here there's a little spot up there um, but on this side, there is a little bit of a tear in the, the window backing on this side. But these are neat. They're just not silhouettes for the windows. They actually have color to them, which are kind of cool. Yeah, I like this a lot. I like this a lot. And then here is the observation car. It's called the Meteor. Um, here again, we got a little bit of damage to the, the window insert. Um, I'm hoping that I can, once I get that out and clean it up a little bit, um, what is nice, it still has the, the marker lights on both sides. And um, it's not in terrible condition. Um, kind of rusted down here on the corner. Uh, he had mentioned that this stuff was sitting in the water. He had a, a, a Santa Fe set also that was uh, really, really rough. But it's nice. It's got the, the Marks badge on the back. So, uh, yeah. So, I mean, all in all, I think I did okay. Didn't spend a lot of money. Like I said, I spent more on gas. Going, 
Sorry about the noise there. Spent more on gas going to it. So, um, you know, get out to your local train shows, guys. They expend, you know, spend your money with some of these vendors. And, um, I do get stuff, you know, online through eBay and stuff. But the vet where you're, I find you're going to get the best deals, um, usually the best deals, is going to a train show. You can talk to the people. You can learn about that the piece that you're buying. Um, and uh, you can take a good look at it. You know, you can spin the wheels to make sure it's work. You can get that good. There's certain stuff sometimes that pictures don't cover. Um, a lot of times online, people don't take good pictures. Um, I've even had a situation once where I don't think it was the same thing that was in the picture that got sent to me. So, um, but definitely go to these shows. Uh, this particular show, uh, and, uh, I pray structure. If you went, it was a two day show. If you went on Saturday, it was $12 to get in. If you went on Sunday, it was $11 to get in. And um, I bought my ticket online, so I saved an additional dollar. So it was 10 bucks to get in. I think kids under 10 were free. Um, but as you saw in the videos, this was definitely a kid friendly event. Um, I got a feeling I might go next year. Uh, coming up in a couple weeks is the Davenport train show. Um, most likely going to go to that one. Um, it'll be a toss up. Uh, all depends on how much time I have, but it's going to be a toss up in be between that and the, going out to the Wheaton show. But uh, this show, um, once again, it was the Great Train Show, not to be mixed up with the Great Great um, uh, Midwest Train Show, but it was the some co same company. It's uh, the, the Greenberg Show's company that that puts them all together. So. All right, guys. So as usual, thanks for viewing. Um, after I'm after I say goodbye, I'm gonna real quickly test it, and if it's running, you'll get to see it go around the track a couple of times. Um, we'll find out if it's not running is you won't get to see it go around the track. All right, guys. Take care of yourselves. Thanks for viewing. As always, like, subscribe, share, um, and uh, I guess that covers it. Choo choo. Hey guys, super quick update. So I took apart that motor. She's running really good. I'm going to show you it on the track in just a few minutes. But one thing I did notice, which I'm going to grab here real quick. These aren't the right push rods. Matter of fact, where they come through and they come forward, they were bent in because they were hitting the inside of this screw. So it wasn't working properly. So I pulled the screws out, grabbed a Dremel, kind of chopped a little bit of eighth of an inch off of those and now it clears really nice and i also i'm not sure if that originally had this light in there because it looks like just the way it was uh welded in or welded soldered in the wire to it right there so um i don't know uh, i know that some of these 490s had lights in them i don't know if this one originally did i also took the dremel cleaned up all the wheels on all those on those two um passenger cars and the tender so let's go put her on the track All right, guys, so that's it. It ran, runs nice, no sparks, which is nice. Uh, a lot of times it's old stuff, you get a lot of sparks, but I clean the wheels off and everything really good. So uh, not gonna keep you anymore. As always, you guys have a wonderful day. Uh, I already gave you the choo-choo, so I'm out of here. Thank you for watching my papa's videos.